Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you a very awesome flea market haul. And unlike some other flea market hauls we've been doing, this one actually has a card worth quite a bit of money. Uh, so it's kind of a lottery ticket. I did not realize it was worth that much money until I checked the phone. Copy artifact is worth eight bucks. The card is obviously this one. Uh, Gravity Spear, two in a red. Enchant, uh, meant from Legends. All creatures lose flying abilities. So combined with Moat, it just locks your opponent out of the game. It is very interesting that this card ha is the price. The last time I checked, it had spiked to $40. It might be a little lower now, but still definitely over $25. I figured that this card would be actually worth more. Not that this card would be worth a lot, but this card, you know, it's kind of cooler. Um, but this one was worth a ton of money. It was sitting at the... Uh, uncommon so the way the store does it some stores some flea market stores either have uh, these non you know these as commons but then other ones have them as uncommons and they throw even the common ones as uncommons which kind of makes sense because legends is an older set and when once I go back to storage I'll bring out my favorite box of magic cards and it's not extremely Exceedingly valuable, but all the cards in that box, it has like a graphic design as well that I made when I was a little younger. And all the cards in that box are either from Arabian Nights, Legends, or Antiquities, which is the sets I played most of back in the day. So definitely a box, I mean, it's unfortunate because I did have the rares to go with them and the expensive uncommons. But, you know, I showed my collection like four or five times, so that box has always been with me, but it's very, it was very tempting. I'm sure that there's not much good stuff in it, but I'm pretty sure I have a few of these because I'm not sure anyone wanted them at the time. So I found one of these and the 25 cents on common. So this was a huge, huge win for me. Like it paid off for multiple, multiple uh, flea market hauls. And I know a lot of you are saying, oh, what about the time? What about the time that you put into it? It's fun. I go. I went with a group of friends. Uh, we were playing Pokemon Go. The flea market was a Pokemon Go sh um, stop. So we just got eggs. It's a lot of fun. I'm actually in the process of uh, buying a new home. So it's just fun to go out and do stuff that in my experience, like, so instead of like going to the flea market, my other options are eating at a really nice restaurant or even, you know, skydiving and just like random stuff. And there's nothing cheaper than going to a flea market and buying magic cards because for the time, if you view that as entertainment, it's not bad. It really isn't that bad. And I got to save some money. So people were saying, oh, I'm spending so much money and spending so much time, but actually I'm saving money um, because I'm spending my entertainment time doing something that is, you know, like in this whole entire purchase that I made at flea market was like $2. Um, I found Her Hermit Druids, um, Power Plants from Chronicles, uh, and Dark Rituals. Also this card, I do want to talk about this card. This card used to be worth a dollar. Uh, now, at least of, as of today's recording, it might go down some, it was five dollars. And I know they have more of it. I just didn't realize it was so expensive, so I didn't pick up all the stuff that I could pick up. I realized um, I mean, there was auto alliance lands. I knew they were not worth very much, but I picked up just one. But definitely a win because if you can get this for twenty-five cents, and this whole thing was like two dollars and seventy-five cents, uh, they had like a special deal going on. They always have a deal in that particular flea market in uh, Austin. But yeah, you picked this for twenty-five cents, and you picked this for twenty-five cents. This is an eight-dollar card, by the way, and this is a twenty-five, thirty-five dollar card. Uh, that has been spiking in price and it is on the reserve list so it's probably not going to fall down that much even if, if it does fall so yeah i mean it's a good experience um otherwise we would just i mean we still go bar hopping and we still go to like nice restaurants to eat and stuff but uh, as a form of entertainment going to flea markets with a bunch of friends playing pokemon go I don't know anything really cheaper than that. Um, maybe playing Pokemon Go, but even playing Pokemon Go, you have to buy items because like we're not good enough not to buy items. I'm a level 20 by the way, and I have a Lapras, a 1600 uh, Lapras, which is my prized Pokemon. Anyway, bye guys.